So want to talk about AI ethics and nonprofits, so things we should be thinking about and discussing this year and beyond. I am Kirk Schmidt. I am a fundraiser turned product manager in the AI space in fundraising. We've already adopted AI and nonprofits to some degree. Some organizations have. There's different ways to do it. Uh, so some things you might have already seen are some systems automation, including things like donations processing. There's fundraising, like what Wisely does in terms of who's going to give, when are they going to give, how much are they going to give. There's, of course, things you can do with stewardship. How should you steward people? When should you steward people? That type of thing. So, so AI is already here. We're already using it. More nonprofits are going to adopt it. We need to talk about what type of ethical problems that we're going to have, either real or perceived. So there's three pitfalls I want to talk about really quickly today. So the first is biased data. The second is knowing too much, and I put that in quotation marks. And then the third is the have and the have nots, and that comes down to nonprofits themselves and the adoption of these technologies. The first is biased data. We have a lot of data that is based on the last 50 years of giving. It's very androcentric, it's very xenocentric in terms of who has given major gifts in previous years. And this can be a problem with how we look at who our best donors might be in the future. A really good example of where this went wrong in the for-profit sector is actually with Amazon. Amazon looked at their set of engineers and they basically said, okay, we want a system that looks at all the resumes and picks out the best engineers. Well, unfortunately, anybody with a female sounding name got eliminated from the system. The computers went, well, obviously most of our engineers are male, therefore that's gotta be the right way to go and el eliminated out all of these resumes. So there's really bad ways that computers will find patterns and find patterns in the wrong way. So this is something we have to think about what data we are feeding these systems and what questions we are asking them. So if we're asking for who are the best donors, is it looking at historical information and providing bias that shouldn't be there? The second piece is knowing too much. So we know that the general public is very fickle when it comes to nonprofits. They like us to play by different rules than they allow other companies to do. So we have to think if we're gonna scare our donors by looking unscrupulous or looking like we've pulled too much. And, and there's all these tools already for scraping social media information. Some of the new AI tools will allow facial recognition. So you could take pictures at events and know who was there. So the question is, are we going to take this too far and, and are we going to create problems for ourselves? Great example in the for-profit sector, Target back in, it was about 2012, figured out that a teen girl was pregnant based on her buying patterns and sent her coupons for baby things. And then her dad came in the store, was pissed off, and then eventually found out that she was pregnant, came back in to, to apologize. And this was only based on buying data. The computer was that precise. So you have to think about as we start to adopt AI, are we going to look that we know too much, even though we're using potentially publicly accessible data? The third, and I think the most important, is the haves and the have-nots. We know that larger organizations, so you think of hospital foundations, at universities, they tend to adopt technology first. New technology is usually expensive to adopt. It carries with it a lot of risk, and especially in the AI space where you don't really know what the computer is doing. It's just doing things. So they're going to adopt the technology first. But AI also provides all of this efficiency. It's going to provide early notification about information about the donor. It's going to provide much more precise information on the donor, what they're going to give, when they're going to give. And you're going to create a much larger gap between the have charities, the ones who adopt it early and, and are able to act on it, and the smaller charities who, who won't be able to. So I'm going to talk about four quick steps that I think we need to think about going forward. So first, we need to further conversations about nonprofit use of AI and potential pitfalls because AI is already here. The second is if you are building AI at your charity, you have to think about the potential ethical and equity issues within the data you are looking at. If you are adopting AI, you're hiring a vendor to do this, you should be talking with that vendor about some of those ethical practices and making sure that they're asking the right questions and not looking at things like biased data. And then really, we need an industry-wide discussion about how we make things like AI and machine learning accessible to smaller nonprofits. 